Hello and welcome everyone to this new video on Backup Exec and today I'm here to discuss some of the new functionalities which has been added into the Veritas Backup Exec uh, feature pack 2 of BE16. So after the split Veritas has continued to enhance the Backup Exec functionality and this new feature pack is no different but some of the new functionalities which I find uh, particularly interesting is the uh, which I will show you is the cloud optimizer so in case you're using the cloud storage as your uh, backup destination you have the cloud connect test optimizer so you can uh, control the throttling the read and write operation and they've also included the open dedupe support so what does that mean is basically you can use the cloud storage as a deduplication uh, storage so only the change blocks or the data which has been changed is only copied so that's a great advantage in case you want to use uh, backup exec whether it's for your primary destination of storage or it is uh, for long time retention archiving purpose this is a great tool and uh, this will greatly enhance the network traffic as well as uh, reduce the storage too so uh, as you can see that uh, this uh, backup exec revision feature pack 2 this list all the functionalities which have been added so now it supports generic s3 compatible functionality cloud connect open dedupe they have also included backup exec on uh, amazon marketplace and right from the within the console you can configure azure government cloud as well as azure germany so this is good for the gdpr purpose so if you're using uh, the uh, cloud storage and you don't want you to move your data out of the European Union so you can just configure right from within the console as well as the support for NetApp and uh, Exchange 2016 and 2013. Now having said that uh, uh, I just recently upgraded from feature pack 1 to feature pack 2 so let me just show you go to configuration and settings actually installation and licensing and go to install updates you can see that uh, it is running feature back to of backup x16 it took me around 10 to 15 minutes and in case you are uh, thinking of upgrading that which i will highly recommend uh, it will ask you to reboot your backup exec server so just an fii in case you are planning to do that so let me just close this so let me go back again to the uh, b16 console and if i go to configuration and setting and go to backup exec settings you'll see that I have the cloud storage option and if I click on this you will see that uh, it gives by default some of the read and write connections which are available for whatever uh, region your storage is uh, residing so you can see Amazon China Amazon Amazon government Azure China Azure and as I said, they have included Azure Germany as well as Azure Government Cloud. So this is by default. You can always change by running the cloud uh, optimizer, which I'm going to show you in a moment. But these are the uh, by default settings. So it over here, it actually tells you that uh, when you configure the cloud storage, you can uh, go to the properties and you can run a cloud connect optimizer. So let me just close this. And if I go to the storage, you'll see that I have a storage cloud. Now this is associated with the Azure region which I have connected. And if I right click on this, I have the option of Cloud Connect Optimizer. So if I click on this one, uh, it gives me an option if I want to use the suggested number of write connection for the upcoming job, or I can run a job name and it will give me or give me an option uh, on the basis of the network and the bandwidth that I have uh, what are the uh, right connection that uh, I can uh, use for my upcoming job so let me just uh, close this and go to my job monitor and just recently I run one job so you can see that uh, cloud connect optimizer I just ran it and uh, it was successful so if I just double click on this utility and uh, open the Cloud Connect Optimizer job information you will see that it gives me the suggested number of write connection for Azure uh, so this is a great tool as I said uh, this gives you an option of to control the write connection in case you're thinking of uh, uh, moving the data from um, 
on-prem to the cloud or directly moving to the Azure storage. So this is the new functionality which has been added. And just to touch upon a little bit upon more on the cloud, uh, open cloud, uh, open dedupe technology. Uh, I have not enabled that, but if you want to do, this gives you uh, information about that one. You can go to download attachment on this Veritas uh, page, and this gives you step-by-step uh, -step information about how you can uh, do that and how you can use the open dedupe technology. So Veritas uses the open storage or OST technology to utilize the open dedupe. Just a couple of things to keep in mind that your backup exec should be running on the server 2012 R2 or server 2016 uh, to make use of this uh, open dedupe technology. And also open dedupe doesn't support the client side deduplication. So after you have configured the open dedupe, make sure that you disable the client side deduplication. Uh, because it won't support that, so it will be supporting the media server or the backup exec server dedupe uh, uh, site. And as I mentioned again, that it is a great way of uh, storage optimization. It also reduces your uh, bandwidth too, because only the change blocks will be uh, transferred uh, to the uh, cloud storage. A lot of users were asking for it, and I think with this new feature pack, backup exec has uh, answered it. So it's a, it's, a, it's a great reason that uh, you should upgrade from, uh, in case you're running the previous version, whether it's a B15 or even uh, going back, uh, back to exec 12 to upgrade to the latest version of uh, B16 feature back to. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.